Nessun saw me honor a free Sabriano, a copium say a top of the Avano, Nessun saw me on Sabaya, and Yemeni be a hormo, a metrian quetchery, Nami to be a cania, would timber your death, now Umber Tow, now come out to Yam. But what will be the essence that I just got enthused and excited in the service and in the preaching, but it does not affect me in any way, it does not change me in any way, it does not transform me in any way. There are two kinds of preaching dogmatic and uh, philosophical kind of debate preaching and there is also transformational kind of preaching that is based and centered on Christ when we come to church and hear that kind of message ladies and gentlemen we will have to come to the place when Christ centered message is being preached it doesn't care who you are it is preaching to everybody I mean preaching in a house like this is a very difficult thing Uh, but I believe that God will drop something indelible into your spirit and the grace of God will be your portion. I will read to you uh, a scripture that I believe is very significant into the times in which we are living in. The Bible calls it perilous time. The perilosity of the times in which we are living is enormously as dangerous. It is only people who do not descend, only people without discernment that can think that these are normal times. I'm not talking about this pandemic. We are living in perilous times. We are living in difficult times. Times. I'm not only talking about difficult times as in economic difficulty. No, I'm not talking about that. As far as I know, in Ipa Bibi, as far as I know, in this pandemic season, people, one of my friends, have signed his biggest contract in this particular year. And in this same year that many have complained, so many also are thriving. The people who are taking advantage of the situation don't see it that we are in an economic crisis. Some people are buying houses in this pandemic season which they will, they wish or will that this pandemic will linger on because the benefits it brings them is enormous. And so I will use the opportunity to explain the difficult situation that the Bible was talking about. He's talking about like the level of divorce in our system, the level of greed in our system, the level of the diminishing of morality in our system, the lack of fear of God that is gone. We have lost the sense that God is in charge of the life of everybody. We have lost, even in church, we are losing the essence that the pulpit is the epicenter where God has placed his name. We are losing that. And that is why we see all kinds of frail and vulnerable kind of doctrines doctrines coming into the body of Christ and that is why we see all manner of things you know coming into the house of God if it is not false prophecies it is false teachings if it is not hatred it is all manner of things that are coming into the sphere and into the house of God it is a difficult difficult moment it is a difficult moment it is even difficult the love of many have was called a door Many have was called. I'm telling you, many people do not even see the essence and the, in, 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 you know, uh, uh, pertinence to be in church. They pray, Gideon, from. I'm telling you, and these are all time. I can remember the last time I came here. I can remember it very vividly. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, many people do not see the essence of sitting in the house of God and hearing the mind of God. Because in the pandemic season, many people have the nerve and the boldness to be talking absurdity and capricious madness concerning the altar, the holy things of God, and men of God talking madness. And some of them are even afraid and shy to return to church because of the things that they said in the pandemic season against the word of God, the altar of God, the work of God and the things of God. Now we have opened and many people are running away. Many people now they are gravitating. Whilst I'm speaking to you people are rather at the campaign fields. Campaign! What else? What are you doing? Campaign! This is your season. I'm busily traveling, blowing fuel. Food 
energy and time. Yeah, and so it is a very difficult time. It is a difficult time where the Bible was talking about that men will be lovers of pleasure more than God. We are now in that time. We love pleasure more than God. Your yeah, party, your yeah, change, you know I mean? And that is why the Bible said in Amos chapter 8 and verse number 11, a time and a season is coming. You know, there will be a famine upon the earth. It's not a famine of food and water. It is going to be a famine of the hearing of the infallible and concise, accurate word of God with integrity and veracity you know it, it, it we are good we are in that season we are in the time where the proper context of the word of god the real exegetical word is being preached now the text is losing its integrity its veracity its accuracy the text of god's word we are losing proper hermeneutical ability homiletical imposition and apologetical infusion we are losing time and that is why we are losing quality of churches and quality of preachers yeah the quality of word the word determines the quality of your life it is not only true about the things of God it is true about everything the quality of the professor that lectures in the in a university determines the quality of the student and of the faculty the quality of the mother and father that parent you or father and mothers you determines the quality of your life the quality yeah of the tutor that tutors you and the quality of the syllabus or the quality of the curriculum they use determines the quality of your life same thing the quality of the husband you marry determines the quality of your life the quality of the wife you marry determines the quality of your life i will finish it this way the quality of the preacher that preaches to you determines the quality of your life bible on the person who are watching them determines the quality that comes. Look at the worship we had this morning. From the first service to this one. Quality of worship. Even the quality of the choice of the songs. Yeah. Even the quality of the choice. If you know, you have a worship leader who does not even know the difference between a prayer song, a prayer medley. He does not know, understand. You know, a, a war song, a warfare song. Yeah. You know, and all that kind of thing. They can lift up any song and and they feel that because it is a slow song it is worship equality i'm telling you and that is why i believe that the people that are in this church are enormously blessed the reason is because of quality i sorry dear but the quality papa papa woman yeah the quality of the worship and of the protocol and of the order when i come here the first thing that i come to realize is that somebody is in charge yeah the moment you enter this premises or this complex the moment you come into this colosseum it tells you that somebody is in charge yeah and, and that is why ladies and gentlemen we come to seek quality yet yeah, there is a reason why you find your bible and our parents and dressed up and come from our homes and sitting in this place we are seeking the word of god but we seek it in quality that the word comes in quality even prayer and yes yeah baba the quality of it determines the results we receive yeah satan you know you know the quality the quality determines that and that is why any human being that comes on the face of the earth the lord gives you 10 things i may not have the time to go into all the 10 quality 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 the quality of time you spend together determines the quality of your marriage we were celebrating you know mr and mrs amagashi 25 years of marriage this is what i'm talking about quality and yet the quality of the marriage you know about the food you do and all over the world i am not joking we have lost quality 
know and what's up with your missus and come be a name there is no friendship there is no you know fidelity there is no synchronization there is no syncopation there is no configuration and what's the hour let me do what you some missus you do nip and what's that you would me you do fear not cancel you know and you know actually man can be no no i'm talking about quality meaning someone can't amen but it's good me the energy partner by you don't worry i will preach it as i you know i have been saying we met here with you we met here i can't go we met here with you say here i'm talking the word of god to god's people that the pulpit has to deliver it has to reprove it has to rebuke it has to correct with all long suffering and the doctrine teaching will have to come out of i'm talking about quality what is the quality when i am sitting with my husband and he is chatting with other women out of my matrimonial home and we that are in the matrimonial home we are not talking what is the quality we are called another kosher toilet so and you know what the marriage counselors are telling you stop training your husband's phone stop chasing him stop monitoring him my husband has not stopped checking my briefs yet and if marriage cannot be on the premise of mutual respect if it cannot be on the premise of transparency if it cannot be on the premise of trust then where is the marriage if you cannot respect me you can't love me where is the trust where is the respect as a word to me to you me it me tia tia me he said the encrophobia what the ayah fe na ye di en swe nina and we come and prove you know put up that proclivity as if everything is okay but as a matter of fact ladies and gentlemen nothing is okay me di ya umo makumem and so when we come and we are coming for the communion i don't even feel like eating it because the person who is my husband or who is my wife who is here and who i see all the time and maybe even leading somebody is not showing me the love you have forgotten that you know be thou an example to the believers i wish i can talk to you yeah i i, I you know me me nim some type preach the the preaching yeah me is a man so so ho na me ntwetwa so ahay enya de ameche ha ha se enya de ameche ha na we hunu sa fe de ko fidru wo ma habi o na won won si habi e wu a e wa se wuti me hunu se ya ye ne ho bu am hu e je modie ani ya park na si be bi ya bi eti me be bo am hu se me son son me hona e free sabre ya no e ko pem se e yi top of the hour no me son son me ho se be ya ani ema ni bi wo ho no ma me twen ko e chire na me ti bi akan ya wuti mbe ya wode na wo ho be to na wo koma ato wo yam but what will be the essence that i just got enthused and excited in the service and in the preaching but it does not to affect me in any way it does not change me in any way it does not transform me in any way there are two kinds of preaching dogmatic and uh, philosophical kind of debate preaching and there is also transformational kind of preaching that is based and centered on Christ when we come to church and hear that kind of message ladies and gentlemen we will have to come to the place when Christ centered message is being preached it doesn't care who you are it is preaching to everybody i mean preaching in a house like this is a very difficult thing to do you are not preaching to one class of people you are preaching to all manner of sphere of people people of of different you know classes and altar people of different ages and understandings and all that kind of thing but christ centered preaching it comes you know it ever in federal in through that comes straight to you yeah the word of god is a scanner yeah all good and perfect gift coming from above from the father of light in whom there is in whom there is no variableness nor shadow of turning oh yeah his word is quick and sharper than every two edged sword it cuts asunder to the separation of the spirit and soul as of the bone and marrow is a discerner of thought and the intents of the heart in other words the word is like a scanner when i stand i stand in the world it reveals to me who i am and what i am what is in my motives 
and what is in my intentions the word does that yeah it tells me exactly the image who i am it projects it and give it to me it is amazing exactly what he said in james chapter 1 from verse number 20 21 and 22 by the time he got to 22 he said be the doers of the word and not hearers deceiving yourself for if any man be a hearer of the word and uh, that is not a doer he is like unto a man that is beholding himself in the face of a mirror the bible says he he behold himself and see the image who he is and depart away from the mirror and go out and he he forgets the image he saw yeah but he verse number 25 yeah, I like 25. There were koto a shit at the shit. The mirror a dimu na what finem mu no or no. Say any pan. I like that. You know he goes. Uh, this man shall be blessed in his deed. In other words, blessing uh, it doesn't just come. Uh, it doesn't just come. He that looked into the perfect law of liberty and con that generation is gone. Our generation 21. Will, 25 will 31 okay and then in their funeral the preacher will say very very interesting statements uh, nobody should cry we shouldn't mourn uh, the lord has uh uh each in a phone each a nature each in whatever we say yami atun zafre no so may the man will be senior man will be kunzu the end of the question is all yami atun zafre pedi yaman you you are so bad and it's scriptural yeah ecclesiastes chapter number seven yeah he, 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 ecclesiastes 7 17 the bible said do not be overly wicked and don't be a fool don't be a fool and now why god before your time that's when you put me what i never answer you because you would be cool if at the said you will be do be kunachi now you know will be about aboni dia to na duro na me to nsa frere ne so o me pede yen o me jide yen o ko ko jide yen me nya me oh na me to nsa frere he i never believe that somebody can extort money from church we be to me a wi aso i never believed it until i saw it pandemic there is a group that have gathered money they are using it you know for welfare to support each other in this crazy moment you know i tell the assembly men assembly members there is a particular concessional concessionary funds that have been reserved for the disabled in the assemblies it is for the blind for the lame for the mean and all that kind of thing for the crippled and people with all kinds of disabilities assembly for no bacon woman this canal i tell them when you may we a team of war god is still a judge and a righteous one one thing as i see so for a unity i want to talk to you it will only a deal yeah you care for quality 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 thank you but then you feel your being a me as some so and then we tell me the truth the truth it doesn't even my the truth open to you page i and that is what you know it was exactly what jesus was talking about in matthew chapter 13 and verse number nine he said they that have ears let them hear yeah if he was talking about this years, everybody has it. Will be or will be. He that has an ear, an ear, an ear. He is specifically, precisely, vivaciously talking about something. He that has an ear, let him hear. That's why I said, you put grass on them where women yes. And you put gume and woman yes. The pursuit of the assembly, and you put gume and woman yes. That you are swung in you. You are swung in you. You know, I comfort to me. He stand in the road, stop an honorable MP, and then kick him to the floor, step on his head, and shoot him right there, and kill him. You are swung in you. You are swung in you. You are swung in you. You know, you fat down as car near your mouth. You know, a leg gone. Girl, legon girl, 
19, 20 years. On your Juma Pia and my gun and not him, Nayasia Yantam. I get them and you come away. One time, a grandma carry and you carry. I have already said it. I carry. Hey, my Juma. We were going to our branch at East Legon. We got into a place. We were diverting from traffic. And then we saw this young lady. 19, 20 years. Look at the mansion they have bought for her. Standing in a place. And then there are two vehicles sitting in the lobby. You know, driveway. Me Mercedes Benz. E200. Brand new. This year plate. Registered. And then a Range Rover. Villa. Also parked. This year, plate a Juma a Ben Wayamakana. Yet we have technocrats who have worked 30 years and 40 years in the civil service and they don't have a bicycle. You think God is Santa Claus? I'm telling you, yeah, He will gather the nations like sheep and goats, and as a shepherd, divide them. The Bible said He will divide them up. I invite you to tonight's session. Tonight we are going to have a prophetic impartation. I want to invite you. I know that most of you will not go to church on Sunday evening. But for this one, I am going to ask all of you to come out of your houses. And I want you to fill this place. Because, you know, I, I, and I promise you, I will not be preaching like this one. We will switch to your mood. We will go into the area where you will like it. You know, I won't go like this. We know the year the Marquis here down up. I said, Yeah, yeah, about Paniano. One of the year you be prepared, one of the year you will pay. We don't want to say, Be you, Rao. At the side of my own, a drop was so, and what you are going to him, or the Tia or say, You know, what you could have been just a trust, a trust, a trust, a when your lab, when your typhoid fever, why you go, a dear, dear, a hint within a year now you free. Sana no kretia. Sana no kretia. Share the page, everybody on Facebook. We want to hit 1K. Yeah, on all the pages. On all the pages. On Reverend Steve Mensah's page. On Charismatic Evangelistic Ministries page. On Prophet Dr. Kovio Drew's page. I want you to share. Until we hit 1.5. Uko ye na ponche. Ene krama ye kwa. Kabe huno se 15K. Aji nse huno ni wea sepe. Ye ti nse huno chi. Ye mpe no kore. Adie ye nyame dia. Adie ye tene. Adie ye pete. Said ye what he said. In Philippians chapter 4 verse number 8. Finally brethren. What sort of things are lovely whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are for, for good report yeah if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think about these things i'm telling you about that we could crusade yeah to me we get to her you know uh, I'm, I'm preaching people have gathered they are listening maybe we for no mountain i'm a call yeah you know somebody can a number blow your yeah. And I said, be me blow your beer. Be me blow your beer. Would that you be that? That would that be this bumble clad? They make noise for this place. And that be two janima. I be who no say any bumble clad. And that would be two janima. And that be who no say any bumble clad. I'm looking at the way the Lord said to Joshua, this book of the law. Joshua 1 8 shall not depart from your mouth. Thou shall meditate upon it day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to everything that is written therein. Ajinyo mo fon. Ye basori na anyo mo afon afon. Egu ye fon so. Upa ama yesu mbran wankas everybody put your phone here. Upi ya de fon biya wo fon so. Osura hini ina bo me kame chira wo. Yenya ye kwa hell ye drewi. Christians with addictions, pornographic addictions, all manner of addictions. You know, when you realize that you are having last tendencies, you need.
prayer. Come to the prophetic encounter on Thursday. Let's deliver you. That is the reason for that anointing. Yeah. Especially when you are in a place like this and see very beautiful women all over the place. The Holy Spirit does not live in your heart. You will be a confused person. Making all manner of useless decisions. You know, which are going to break the hearts of the daughters of Zion. We should be able to be able to discipline ourselves and bring ourselves under subjection. Subjection. The reason is because they say, you know, uh, you know, a Jamai Hagana. Now, dear, you need you when you're two hips. I can see it. Lufutibribe, it's one more one kitten kitten, one more pet. What's the chimney hat? Never good me, her mammy. Your pisca quacko, yeah, a day of help, yeah, your pisca quacko, yeah, crusade Christ to the real world. No profound is cano air, yeah, one more tongue, one juma. Yeah, one more two, one juma. Some catch on some my eyes are preaching, yeah, I mean, preaching be be our neighbor. The book quotation, be are nowhere near you. And that is why now we are not marrying in virtue. Virtue is gone. A virtuous wife who can ah uh, ah uh, yempeno. A pro, you know, we we going for pulchritude, curves, shape, curves. A devil. People are going to invest in curves. Bra, we be tia. We be tia manza kwa. Something is getting missing in our Christianity, and that is godliness. Godliness, godliness is going out of the church. Godliness, nyamesompa. Godliness, that. Pastor is not there and nobody is there, but you will still do the right thing. That is godliness. That God is in you, reconciling the world back to Himself. Yeah, that Christ was, you know, God was in Christ. Reconcile. Yeah, godliness. Godliness, godliness is when, you know, I was driving by the road and there was this husband and wife. The husband was in front, very, very furious and angry. And uh, the wife was back behind him. And, uh, you know, you could realize that the wife, you know, has become like rebellious, the, the facial expression. It looked like they are going to a wedding or a party dress, you know, coat, you know, and, and uh, yeah, the, the outfit for a missus was not a good one. And it looks like the gentleman have said and said and said it. We prim na kuma so enwa na me debe ko. And so debe ko adi efedi mechi mi ngwe. Na you know and all that. But a Christian can tell that all things are lawful, but not all things are expedient. Yeah, all things are lawful, but I will not be brought under the the compulsion of any. I bring my message were close i want to talk to you godliness is when you look at the gentleman's face and say you know what i don't love you so i can't take your money i don't want to give you a false hope that is godliness godliness is when you turn down the offer of somebody's husband to give you a mercedes and a house and money whatever you, you turn it down and said i rather wait for my own husband in the god's own time he makes all things beautiful that is godliness yeah that is godliness i want to talk to you that is godliness and we are losing that we are we are losing that ladies and gentlemen but god in his infinite wisdom he gives everybody who comes on earth 10 things i will tell you five of them number one the life you are enjoying is an asset a lifetime asset that god has given you without life you can't come here without life you can't do the things you are doing so the life you are enjoying is the first asset number two purpose that is what makes you wake up in the middle of the night by your computer that drives you to get to work by seven o'clock the purpose which god places on your life everybody has one if you don't have or you haven't discovered yours yet look for it because god has given it to you whether you know it or not it is right there purpose 
house has already been given. Number three, ideas. The Lord gives everybody an idea. Yeah. Facebook was an idea. Twitter was an idea. Instagram was an idea. WhatsApp was an idea. Zoom Lion was an idea. This way chocolate drink was an idea. All the companies here represented. It was all an idea. God can give just one idea to somebody and they can leap over walls with just one idea. It amazes me. Look at an idea like boat, like Uber, like taxi fire. These guys are not doing anything. They don't work. The owners are the, the you know, up honest they don't do anything all they do is update and uh, you know modify the app the people go to drive on the streets and give them 15 percent 15 percent of every trip they make and so when you look at the people who are wealthy on london stock exchange new york stock exchange those people they don't sell anything on tables google doesn't sell anything i'm on talking here Facebook doesn't sell in moment tone too, so moment tone here. Alibaba doesn't sell anything. If you look at the one uh, Abayek Meimo, and no, what is the name of the one that is in this country? You want to buy something, you go to the uh, thing, Jumia. Yeah, they don't sell anything. Jumia will just, I want to buy an iPhone 12. Jumia, what? he does will search for the market and look for a deal and then check it with their price so they can also get their commission and their profit and then they send a dispatch to come and deliver it to you they should come and even you know pay for the advert i just did for them abu Mudi, a free advert that's it they don't pay for anything an idea a legon graduate finished up looking for a job couldn't find one and then decided to go and pray about the whole situation because it was normal the lady was whilst praying the lord says you know how to cook very well start cooking watch it she didn't argue that i've been to university how can i be a watch seller and all that kind of thing no on the table mark la paz bna and then started selling watches very quick the watch went into you know a, a, a shop very quick and then went to a premises now the watch has you know a whole parking lot a whole people welcoming them and all that you know and this is not watch keke watch it with ambience watch it with atmosphere watch it with prestige yeah the last time we went there when we were parking the car I said my god i didn't know all these guys come here this is prophet that this is bishop that because i can tell they are cars this car belongs to that person i know this car i know that car yes but god gave an idea to somebody most of us sitting here who are receiving salaries seriously speaking the Lord will grant you an idea that one idea will let you know that salary was really a menial job I am serious about that I'm telling you a friend started when they went to real estate to lands and all stuff like that and this particular corona pandemic season this guy has sold not less than 10 houses 10% in every transaction the cheapest house they have sold is 1.2 million dollars. Prophet Nyesa. It will not be when you are corona ni jinim. An idea, an idea, an idea. Number four, God grants everybody favor. There is a time of lifting for everybody. So stop envying other people. The wind blew it where it listed. You cannot tell where it's going, where it's coming from. So is the man that is born of the spirit. The thing is that God has a time. Everybody's time will come. That is why I keep saying, I keep saying, somebody can be up today, they are down tomorrow. Somebody can be the top of the upland and tomorrow they are nobody. There are people in the position now who are going to be on top it tomorrow. There are people in power now who will be nowhere tomorrow. Life has vicissitudes, ups and downs. Yeah. Everybody has a season of favor. And to treat people well so that when they come into their season of favor, they can honor you. Yeah. Yeah. 
they can honor you. You may be sitting next to the next billionaire, but it doesn't look like because blessings normally come in disguise. I'm telling you, somebody can just marry one person who is a nobody, but overnight the grace of God will just open their season of favor. Everything will turn around. So respect people. Yeah, bunipa, ununipa, yeah, boom. Especially when you are driving on the streets and you see these people, you know, and all stuff like that. Be kind and generous to the street people. I'm telling you, be be nice to them. Be very nice. When we went to Sapeman, uh, you know, earlier on, there was a young particular guy by the name, you know, Ayi. Ayi was one of the people who was struggling for food. Struggling for food. Couldn't buy food. Pay for food. And uh, we were so generous to the gentleman. We were so kind. They can cook rice from Opa and walk to our house and say, we are coming to collect stew. Yeah. Silver new kita no emu from kaho and kweni so you know no mamba so me jenam say na emu ani ya ya fruisi wa se beji kudi eh e nemre ya ya fruisi so ya nemre ya fruisi so so mi jiske ko ton to so ni adi e no mi adi na mo mu nyensi ho wo so ri anu aka ne she ya anu atibi ai eno eno ni ya chira wo ma hawa ya ya ben kwan kwasi ya da juada e brada ni aka ne she wo ko da ya ka ne she ento ya wo da ni mu apia ya se fro di nsuo wo no wa na asan de asi so na wa ka ne she ahu no se de e ko ya 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 asa de wuni ma se mo ameke nsuo bi si wo ka asi si si <laughs> we were nice to this guy not knowing that this guy was going to be you know they, they have what we call they have formed a private security company and this guy turned out to be the second the deputy leader somebody was trying to steal our land we told the police they did nothing about it I called I, I, he said where I showed him the place Within just about 30 minutes, I saw 70 motorbikes. They invaded the land. When the people saw them, they ran away till today they didn't come back. I'm telling you. Come out and grow for ya bom Easily go have fun grow for us as it be a poo poo and you go, hey, 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 stop work. We're going to show Yamusha show. Everybody, everybody, be a year, Mazazi. Connect your quay and come and say, the Messi Umu P, me, fear me, Yamsha. I don't want to be because in Grofuni, they are going to the land. Just show them that these are private security. I'm telling you, these are the guys the people are using for their campaigns all over where they are working. Because I can't for a door, so I'll try um the coon. To win them, they could take a year more than them. Would your profession, Papa, when you saw a monster, would ever have a big thing? Hallelujah. So, everybody has a season of favor. A brand new human. And you know, apart from the season, of favor god gives everybody opportunity i keep saying the last two times i came here i said the best footballers are not ronaldo and messi the best footballers may be playing here at madina park the only reason why you don't know them is because of lack of opportunity the best preachers are not me the best preachers are in villages they haven't gotten opportunity yet they have not gotten the exposure yet the best actors and actresses are not the ones we know let me bring the ugliest woman from my hometown and fix her within 30 minutes I'm telling you let me fix somebody very good good hair nice Brazilian human hair nice one good makeup no, I'm not talking about that. Very good powder, very good foundation, very solid one. Your mouth, very nice, correct brushes. You, because the powder and foundation can be good, but the brushes can be bad, and that can even give you allergic reactions. Oh, now you say me name we no me na. The bank can hatch it. Yeah, maybe Tutonia, maybe you know an altar. Yeah, you will need to fix. Not mean fix so. 
nine eyebrow, nine nice as eyelash extension, good nails, therapy, and all that. I mean, a very nice, you know, Brioni shoes or uh, 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 Dior shoes, ancient. I mean, man, an outfit, a Givenchy outfit. You have had here. You have here. We've been with some of the people who opportunity don't think you know opportunity my prayer this morning is that before you leave this place doors of opportunity will be open everywhere for you in the name of Jesus you will never miss the opportunity to rise to the top to leap over walls and run through troops I am done my message is done but the last thing I want to talk to you about, and this is really my message, time. God gives everybody time. Some people have time more than others. Time! Just like your passport has an issuing date and an expiry date. You and I, we have an expiry date. And, oh yeah, time! Don't miss the opportunity. Yeah, that your time is taken every day. If there is anything that needs to be done, procrastination is not part of those things. Everything that needs to be done must be done and done now. Arise and shine for your light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Time! You have time. You are like a model. You are like a footballer. Time. I can't do it any longer. Brother Abraham, the love I passed on to be with the Lord. May the Lord bless his soul. But before he died, he invited me many times. Couldn't get the opportunity to go. You know, and, and uh, he will watch me on television in his house and said, That boy will go far. Call the boy for me. That boy is preaching the mind of God. That boy is speaking the intentions of God. He was watching me, but before they were the men when we were not born. Yeah. You know, whilst I'm standing here, before I came, this is a final analogy, and I take my seat. Whilst I came upstairs, upstage here, Lady Gifty was ministering. At the time she was ministering, it was her time. All eyes were on her. Then her time expired then she went off the stage my father came took the microphone it was his time life is like a stage there was a company that supplied laptops all over Ghana, schools everywhere. Ask me, where are they? Time, validity period. Time. Now, my father, when he was speaking, everybody's attention, eyes, and heart were on him. The moment his time on that particular sphere on the program expired, he went down the stage. To sit down now i am here i should never think that my time is going to be forever because as i'm speaking to you i have two minutes to go down and i am going to sit down and keep quiet as if i never spoke that is how life is when i look at our secular musicians they're making noise all over the place i remind myself of terry boom chaka who pulled the crowd like Terry? Oh! Yeah, Terry Bond, and then he goes like this. He had his own flair. Wet chum! Wet chum! If anybody had told me, you know, by ya, or Kushiana Kwemu, who now know what Queen is with, if anybody had told me, that we will forget this young girl so quick. I wouldn't have believed it. It is as if this young musician who died on the Sunyani road. It is as if she never existed. Obia 
My time is up. I'm just going to sit down now. And so when it's your time, be kind, be generous, be wise, be faithful. Yes! Yes! Don't be proud. Don't be arrogant. Riches are not forever. The crown does not endure forever. I'm telling you. The crown, it does not last forever. Time! Your validity period may be running out very soon. Yeah, your validity period may be running out very soon. One of my very good friends, you all know, who have passed on, at the age of 47, he had a massive stroke. His name was Bishop Akko Harrison. Bishop was, you know, he had stroke for three years. When I show you the bishop I knew and the bishop that died, you will cry. Life is interesting. Life is interesting. Therefore, now is your time. When I go to my hometown and I see all the all the old ladies, you know, when we build in my hometown, Bomi, where we are, Omisi Dianoma, they pulled up a little slab like this step. You know, in the evenings they will come and sit on it. In the afternoons, when the sun is out, they come and sit on it and all that. The old women they come and sit out and they take off their clothes, their blouses, no braziers. Their breasts are like from here to there. Yeah. And then, and then they are in the sun, just enjoying the sun. Sometimes when you look at them, you may feel like they have been old women forever. I'm telling you, if you go to their houses and look at their pictures, you will see some of your hairstyles, some of your shoes, some of your apparel, some of your outfit. But their time has expired. They are not dead yet. I'm a broke away. Shame time has expired. Very soon, now you see, you see, I am just about to exit. It is whilst I'm about to exit, I am pompous, proud, and all that. When I was Rene, I didn't say, no, no. When I was Rene, I Yeah. Now it's going to be their time. Life! That is, is, is what it is. It's the, like a stage. This morning I came to speak to the wise. Be wise. Be ready. Be prepared. Certain things are coming. It will be beyond your own imagination. Time is ticking and it's not on your side. Very soon I go about to be ideas. Sunday is over. Your time is not forever. Be wise. Your time. Your time. Your time. In the morning, whilst I came, before I will pray and allow the choir to sing.